Hi everyone, this is Kara from Engaging Them All. Um, the other day on Instagram, I did a little post on how I went digital with my planner. So I used to have a happy planner from Michaels and I loved it, but no matter what, I always came back to doing things digitally. And I find now I can do everything digitally that I could do with a happy planner for a lot less money. So I had posted a uh, template the other day and I had posted mine the other day and had just a couple of people reach out and ask me if I'd be willing to share my template. And really my template is just um, a table in Google Slides. So I'm definitely going to share it out, but I wanted to show you guys how you could make some of the stickers, quote unquote, that I make. So first of all, the template, like I said, it literally, this is a box. This is just a shape. Then this is a table that you can type right in. The words are separate, so you can change the font on them. So every week I just do a copy and paste of the original template, and now I have something that I can work on. I go back to, I'll, I'll put this in the template. I kind of just take my month and days, and I click them all, and I copy them, and I paste them over here okay so then from here you can change the colors of the color scheme that you're using you can use a different font i use the same font every week i like I, I like this oswald font so i use that um and so that becomes your uh your 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 weekly template so then when it comes to typing i type directly inside of the table so you can change the fields you can change the colors you can change the font um, I play with it. You notice like different weeks, I use different fonts. I use multiple fonts. Um, and li like many people, I get hooked on a font. So there we go. So you're able to write in here. For me, what I do at the top is things I absolutely totally need to know to be able to function for the day. The middle for me is the schools that I'm going to and the times and what we're going to be doing. And then down at the bottom, I have big information for me like conference calls and stuff like that as well as the stickers that i use to let me know what after school activities i have for my kids um so i want to show you about the stickers quickly so i'm going to share these with you you're going to find out all of them useful so, so what i've done the circle itself i'm going to pull this off here the circle itself is just a shape from this here i just do shape and i do color so when i can change the color to whatever i want to okay and then the pictures right here these are icons that i have so for me we've got math and band and takeout and hot lunch and acting class and the whole thing you know we have we have an early release sticker so um the way i got my icons if you go to my if i go to my add-ons and I click on icons by noun project. So this is an amazing add on the noun project. I actually pay for, they do have some free stuff, but I actually pay for this service so that I can use them in my teachers pay teachers product. They are, um, if you pay it, it's, it's a very reasonable um, amount. You actually go and sign up as an educator's account. I think I pay like $40 a year to have like, you know, tons and tons and tons and tons of icons. And um, so I, and you could change the color of the icon. So that's, so let's say, let's, let's help you make an icon. Let's say you have, you know, someone who's in ballet class and I do ballet slippers. And so here we go, we've got some cool. So you click on it and then you can change the color, which is nice. So I do white and then I'm gonna insert the icon. Sorry, my mouse keeps gonna lie. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get rid of my math icon just to show you. And I'm gonna bring this over. So it's super big right now, if you notice. So I'm gonna make it nice and tiny. And then if you actually, when you're working in slides and you see those little blue lines, those mean they match the same size as some other ones. And so there we go. So now I would have a sticker that I would be able to pick up and put where it is to say, hey, that's when I have, um, that's when I have ballet. So like this week, you see, I have a lot of ASC. A lot of my son's after school activities have finished up for the year. So he needs to go to the after school club. 
And um, so that's, you can accommodate them, change them during the summer. You can have different stickers, that type of thing. So that is an awesome add-on. It is the Icons by Noun Project. It's also a website too, if you like to use PowerPoint, I'm a slide scale. So then the next thing is um, making your stickers like this, yeah, weekend. So this is a picture with font over it. So what I do is I use an add-on called Unsplash Photos. It's also a website. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous photography. And it is, if you see down here, free to use commercially and for personal uses. I use this in my Teachers Pay Teachers products a ton. So um, this is how I make my stickers. And what I love is, so if you go back, some, if I show you some of my other weeks, sometimes I just pick a color palette that I'm gonna do for the week. So let, let's say I was doing like orange. If I type in the word orange, I'm gonna get some gorgeous pictures with orange in it. Um, same thing is true for anything. So if you go back like, so, okay, here's my St. Patty's Day. Um, I did a Harry Potter one, but I, this, so this one I did a yellow and blue theme. This was a green and pink theme. This one was wood. I just looked for wood. Um, this I did water and grass. So you can really look for this was a red, white and blue theme. So you can just search by color and add some really great textured photos to it. So um, I, this week I did rainbow. I was like, hey, it's June. I'm feeling happy. I want to do rainbow. So I loved this umbrella photo. So I wanted to make a sticker for this box right here. So I click on it and it's going to make the picture the entire size of the entire paper. So what I do is I actually first I bring it down to make sure that it's going to fit in the box vertically. And then I use my crop tool to pull it in. And there we go. Now I have a really pretty, pretty sticker. You can actually double click if you wanted more like of the pink. There we go, a little bit more color in there. Or if you wanted to do any, here we go. Now I've got a little bit of blue and pink and stuff like that. So I'm able to see a little bit more color. So there we go. So that is how I do a simple sticker. Um, you know, in, if I click over here, you, you get these little banner pages and washi tape. So I make my own little washi tape. Um, I picked this photo right here. I loved this one. I love the texture on it. And so first I kind of made it smaller. Oh, I got two of them. There we go. I made it smaller. And I actually cropped out this. There we go. And then what I did is I wanted to do a special crop. I did went to my arrows for underneath crop. And I did like my little banner thing right here. <clears throat> and so, can, oops, sorry. Sometimes it pops over for me. I move my fingers too fast. So there we go. So I did like this. And, oh, that came out perfect. Look at that. So that's awesome. So it's a little like, little banner, little washi tape. You can make it as thin or as thick as you want. And then if you really want it to stand out, you can go to your format options. And you can add a drop shadow and you're going to play with your angling and your distance and your blur radius makes it not black. It makes it look like a shadow. So I pull my blur radius up. So it looks like it's kind of hovering over the page, which is kind of cool. And I might even, I like to overlap my things. So I might put it up a little bit. Um, the last thing I use is Bitmoji. So I try to match a couple of Bitmojis to make it personal. I have the Bitmoji extension up here in Chrome. So I click on that. And I type in rainbow, you know, so you're not always going to find what you like in Bitmoji. So um, I love this one. So you copy it and then the same thing, you paste it. And you can put it wherever you want to. You can give it drop shadow if you want to. And then you have some stickers. So then over here, what I do is I add text box for anything that I absolutely have to get done that week. I'll give myself a couple of hints, you know, or, and so maybe some daily affirmations, like get your 10,000 steps like that. And then I do um, actually print them up and um, I actually have them on a little board in my classroom. So I just went away. 
So thank you for everything and um, bye.